Hi everybody, welcome back to Rich Reviews and today we have another targa for you, kindly provided by JD Classics from Chelmsford. But what is it? Is it a 930 Turbo? So this is actually a 1989 911 Carrera Targa Supersport. It's not a turbo. Now what are the Supersports? Now the Supersports were developed from around 1984 and 1985 to 1989. This is a 1989 Supersport, so this is the last year of manufacture, last year of production for the, for the Supersport. Why is the Supersport special? Well, Around this time was the 930 Turbo. Now the 930 Turbo was a bit leery and it was nicknamed the Widowmaker. So it was a bit aggressive with its turbo. When it came on boost, it was very aggressive and, and it, it scared off a lot of would-be potential purchasers. So people started saying, okay, well, we love the look of the 930 Turbo, but when we were a bit concerned about the leriness of the, of the actual turbocharger system itself, of the turbocharger engine. So what Porsche decided to do was to provide the, the ability for customers to spec in effect, the turbo look without the turbo engine. So it's a naturally aspirated 3.2 litre engine. Now, what that provides is this turbo body, which they provisioned later on in, say, for example, in the 993 models, they had the 4S and the 2S. Now, those 4S and 2S 993s were actually turbo bodied 993s, naturally aspirated turbo bodied. This is an early incarnation of those S types that were developed later on. Now, because these did fairly well and customers wanted these 930 turbo look cars, the turbo look as they were called, Porsche decided in 1986 to create what's called their separate department, Porsche Exclusive. And Porsche Exclusive was the first iteration of that type of exclusive design capability. So what does the turbo look actually provide? What does it give you? Well, first of all, it gives you this T-Tray spoiler, which is reminiscent of the 930 Turbo. It gives you these wide rear haunches, these wide rear, wide rear wheel arches. This is definitively the turbo look for a 911. And downstream later on, the 993, these were, ex these, were these were accentuated as much as these are, but as you can see, they're really accentuated for the rear of the car. Now these shock absorber impact systems that were designed into the bumper systems on these 911s, what happened was legislation came in whereby there had to be crumple zones put into cars. So legislation changed for the design. They didn't have time to design that into as crumple zones into the actual chassis of the cars. So how they overcame it was they put shock absorber systems into the bumper. So that absorbed the shock until later on downstream cars were designed more with that compression in the actual chassis and bodywork of the car. So it was incorporated into design later on. This car also is resplendent with black fouche, which is, again, Super Sport 930 Turbo um, Super Sport design. So they came with 930 Turbos and Super Sport and these black accents. So you had these black accents along the seal and across this rear wheel arch stone chip material, which is in black, which matches in with the black accents of the car. And again, you can see here the black inlay on the front bumper. And of course, again, the shock absorber compression system on the front bumper system. Much like the 328 that we created content on previously, which is also a JD Classics car, as we detailed before. This is also a Targa, and this is also a 1989 car. So these two cars were actually in competition with each other. 1989, 1989 328, 1989 Super Sport Targa. Pretty cool to be able to have these two cars side by side really really lucky and really fortunate to have these cars available this car has only done 25,000 miles guys 34 years old 33 stroke 34 years old only done 25,000 miles this is in its original baltic blue paintwork so this is all original this has not been restored this has not been resprayed this is all as is original and that is important for these cars why is it so important? Because there is only 75 right-hand drive Super Sports made and only 15 right-hand drive Targa Super Sports. So this is a very rare car. So moving around to show you the engine compartment, the latch is actually in the door inlay here. So you pull this, this T-bar, and this unlatches the rear engine compartment. 
and you have to bend up this rear bumper because this is the big 930 T-Tray rear spoiler and this is actually quite heavy. You can get cheaper versions of this rear spoiler system, um, but this is original equipment manufacturer because of course this was originally provided with the Super Sport. If you look at his engine, this is original. This is pretty much immaculate. It doesn't get much better than that. Very impressive. And this is a flat six boxer engine. So the pistons push out to the side. So it's like a boxer. I did, I did that graphic before, I did that animation before and people always loved it. So I'll give you it again. So the boxer engine, the pistons move out to the side. If you haven't started these cars for quite a while, then sometimes you get a bit of black smoke because the nature of the actual cylinders being horizontal, sometimes you get oil seeping past the oil control rings and past the compression rings of the pistons, um, which means they get, that oil gets burnt off when you then restart the car after a long layoff, after a fairly long layoff. So, what's the specification of this car? This is a 3.2 litre with 231 brake horsepower, 195 pound-foot of torque. This will accelerate you from 0 to 60 in 6.3 seconds and will take you up to a heady 152 miles an hour. Remember, this is a 33-year-old Porsche design. So this was delivered in 1989 and this would take you to 152 miles an hour. Pretty impressive. These engines, these air-cooled engines, this particular air-cooled engine had about 30 years, 30 to 31 years of engineering in it. These engines are bulletproof. You have to do something substantially wrong to bugger this up. They are really solid, typical Porsche engineering. Beautiful design, really rock solid. And you can tell, you know, when you drop the engine cover, it's got that solidity to it. And when you close the doors, it's like the 993 doors. You can always tell it's like they're, they're chiseled out of a solid piece of, of, it's like they're chiseled out of a solid piece of steel. Listen to that. <laughs> it's like the whole thing is one, made out of one ingot of steel, rock solid. You're going to come off well if you, if you crash this car, not that you really want to. Again, it's a very rare car. Only 15 of these were ever made. And look at the beautiful design of this Targa. You've got this curved glass on this Targa, which has got element in it. So it's a heated rear screen. You've got this aluminium black anodized Targa hoop. And then you've got the Targa panel, which fits in between. Now we'll just pop the bonnet and we'll show you. Now, because this car hasn't been started for a while, we've got a, a, booster here, a booster system here for the battery. So please ignore all this, the booster system. This is the Targa roof mechanism. As you can see, it's um, an expanding system. So this folds down for easier, easier storage, but it's quite a weighty system. This is steel, not aluminium. So it's very solid. So when you carry that across and plug it in to these ports, Again, very well engineered, typical Porsche. It's quite a heavy, sturdy system. So when you, when you fold it in, you've got to make sure you carry that weight so you dam damage the interior of the car. This is much like the 993 front system. You can't really see much there for the storage capability because we've got the battery conditioner there, keeping the battery up to spec so we can take it out for a drive a little bit later on. This was called, or this is called, linen, the white linen interior. Again, it's only done 25,000 miles, pretty much immaculate. And of course, got old manual five-speed gearbox. Some of this dash system is pretty impressive as well. I'm not quite sure what it all, what it all means because some of it is in German. I haven't seen some of this design before old style air conditioning system, but pretty much looks very similar to the 993 layout. And the little piddly handbrake in the middle. <laughs> pretty cool. And of course, this is back in the day when cassettes were used, so you've got a, an old style cassette storage system in the center console. With regards to the, the rear seats, this is the two plus two, so you've got rear seats here. What this provides you is the ability to pretty much only have children in the back. Now, if you, if you need to get, if you need to put adults in the back here, there is a latch system whereby you can fold down these rear seats. Excuse the trade plate there. 
And what this gives you is the ability to put shopping and some storage on there on this section. So if you fold both those down, so of course you can imagine you could put some shopping bags there, or if you're only two of you and you're doing a tour around Europe, say for example, you could put your storage, some of your luggage there as well, as well as putting some of your storage, or as well as putting some of your luggage in the front. So it gives you a bit of a storage capability. So I'm gonna take it out now and see how it performs on the road. So guys, driving the 911 Carrera Super Sport. Pretty cool. Instantly I feel at home with it. Why? Well, because I owned a 993 for 13 years. I know that was a 1997 car and this is a 1989 car. There's still a lot of similarities there. They didn't change that much um, in those latter eight years. So it's very familiar. First of all, the car seems very sorted on its suspension, very stable. It doesn't feel too light on the front. The steering is quite easy going, quite light. It's not too light. Um, we're not a, a lot of 911s because of the weight being over the rear axle. The, the front steering tends to be a bit too light, but it's not too bad. So clearly you can tell straight away the suspension is sorted on this car. Um, and irrespective of it only having done 25,000 miles, you still gotta make sure that you keep the suspension up to spec that the, there's maintenance still required because the suspension, a lot of the suspension parts are made of rubber or they have rubberized sections in them and of course rubber degrades over time. So it's not just over mileage where you have to maintain a lot of these suspension parts, but it's also just for age. There's no pulling to the left or right. It's got good neutral, good neutral steering. And yeah, it feels good. And the, the engine, even though it's 100, only 195 pound foot of torque and 231 brake horsepower, it's well sprightly, it's got a good pull to it. So yeah, it's, it's a cool car. And in effect, it's a 930 turbo without the turbo. So all looks without the turbo. So the steering, although neutral, is quite heavy at slow speeds, it's non-assisted. That's good and bad, obviously you get good feeling through the steering because it's not too assisted or it's not assisted at all, uh, but it means it's quite heavy at slow speed, so you've got to haul it around. And of course with the, with the 930 Essence, with the 3.2 litre flat six naturally aspirated boxer engine, air cooled you get that air cooled raucous sound which is really cool it brings back all those memories of my 993 of my air cooled 993 fantastic sound it's that very raw sound because you haven't got a water cylinder on them you get that more accentuated engine mechanical sound so the the, the suspension is very compliant it's got a nice it really floats over the bumps it's not harsh and crashy at all very much like my 993 was after I had the suspension sorted. Seating position, really nice. Uh, seats are really comfortable, really support you around the kidneys. You are angled slightly to the left with your feet. Um, so, the, so the pedal box is slightly to the left. Um, 911s, the actual pedal box is hinged from the floor as opposed from above. So that gives you a slight different nuance. But it's, I know this is gonna sound weird, but it, it feels like, a, like an air-cooled 911. What can I say, guys? It, it feels cool. I love air-cooled 911s and that's what it feels like, a, a cool air-cooled 911. Gearbox is nice, nice and sweet, direct on its location, brakes are good, haul it round on the steering, it's well weighted on the steering, which is very important when you're going around the corners. Obviously with 911s, because you've got the mass of the engine out over, the, over far over the rear axle, so it sees out of the, of the axle on the, on the wrong side of the axle, rear axle if you like. Um, you've got to make sure that when you come into corners you do all your braking beforehand and then with the mass on the rear over the rear axle it gives you that mechanical engineering to be able to accelerate out quicker from the apex of a corner. That's one of the ba main benefits of having all that weight hanging over the rear axle. So we've turned on the interior light here so hopefully you can see me a bit better now. And hopefully you're enjoying this cool aspect of providing you a bit of nighttime driving. If you're enjoying the content on this video, please give the video a like. And if you're not subscribed, please think about subscribing guys. Very important for the channel. Taking it around some twisties now.
feel the, the mass of the engine over the rear axle. Now the interior of this Super Sport is very 911, very air-cooled 911S. So it's very similar to the design of the 993 that I had. You've got this bench style dashboard with this curvature over the center con of, with this curvature over the center set of dials. You've got your rev gauge center and foremost in front which is always perceived to be obviously for sports cars and supercars the most important dial and to the left of that you've got the different gauges for your for your temperature and for your fuel etc and and um, oil temperature now in these air-cooled cars of course it's very important not only to know the oil pressure but the oil temperature as well because these air-cooled engines were cooled mostly by yes air from the fan pushing air over the fins over the fins of the external of the engine but also by the oil so they're oil cooled as well that's why it's very important that the oil is changed fairly regularly because the oil is used to cool the engine in addition to the air cooling not everything falls to hand and, and for example all the fan controls are obliterated by the steering wheel this is standard practice for these old air cooled 911s i love the styling of this targa and also love the feel of the open air with this targa as well it's something i've never had with my 993 my 993 had a sunroof, but it didn't give you this experience. And the, and the car feels really solid. You're not getting any nasty, real bad um, scuttle shape, which is which is good. And yes, it's very airy in the cabin, so you've got a bit of turbulence inside the cabin with the Targa roof off. But certainly in this weather, it's gorgeous because you know it's quite quite been a very warm day today. I think with 911s, especially air-cooled 911s, you either love them or you hate them. And certainly I love air-cooled 911s, they've got a special character about them. And this certainly has that character, that great air-cooled 911 character. Now if it drives like them or sounds like them. And this, this is a classic example of that type of 911, of that type of air-cooled 911. Very progressive on the throttle. As you're coming round corners, you can ease on more power as you're coming out towards the apex. Coming into corners, you brake before the corner, change up. Then as you're coming round the corner, accelerate out and use that mass over the rear axle to bring you round and to accelerate out. This is the same era as the 328 that I reviewed previously. Same age cars, but they drive massively different. For me, I'd say the Super Sport is an easier car to drive than the 328. But the 328 is obviously better looking. It's a 328. So it's horses for courses, really, guys. Both in production at the same times. Both 3.2 liter engines, but very, very different types of engines. And very different in their power delivery. One 231 brake horsepower, one 266 brake horsepower. But in many ways, I would say that this Super Sport feels a, a bit more agile, even though the steering is heavier. It's, for example, when you're turning the car around, it feels just as heavy as the 328 because it's non-assisted. But it means you get a better feel when you're, when you're at pace because you get more feedback through the steering because of the lack of, of um, false assistance. So to bring the video to a close, my conclusions are, you want a classic 911 feel this is the car for you and if you want a classic 911 turbo look this is definitely the car for you you get that 930 turbo look those awesome rear wheel arches those awesome rear wheel arches the black foosh wheels you get that wider rear you get the wider rear axles that bring with it of course those those wider rear haunches you get that classic 911 turbo look without the 930 turbo lariness. As I said before, the 930 turbo has that Widowmaker statement about it, has that win Widowmaker name. And people were very worried about that, hence why the Super Sport came about. It's the classic 911, it's, it's the classic air cooled 911. You get that raw 911 sound, you get that weight over the rear axle, so you, it helps acceleration out of corners, but you must make sure you brake beforehand. It's not as leery as the very early 911s where you have to be very super careful of the pendulum effect 
of braking too hard and lifting when you're coming into corners um, so you've got that pendulum effect but certainly this doesn't feel scary at all with that regard definitely got enough performance there with the 231 brake horsepower um, you use the gears and you move it through the gears and it performs admirably very linear pull to it it's got that great 911 it's got that nine, not great 911 torque that pulls you along around these corners what more could you want the awesome 930 turbo 11 look without the lariness and the classic 911 experience if you enjoyed the video please make sure you give it a like very important for the channel if you're not subscribed please think about subscribing it doesn't cost you anything it's free to do so and you can unsubscribe at any time you want thanks a lot for watching guys and thanks again to jd classics for lending us both the 328 and this 911 target carrera super sport thanks a lot for watching guys and we'll catch you in the next video